this is the this, this is this the whole lot we have all the the half lot. Uh, it is it is. Uh, I, I don't I don't I don't know why we should have that problem. It's not necessary. It's unimportant. It, sh it shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't be an issue. It's very it's 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 sad, sad. When a child, I mean, I can give the most recent example. We have a, a student who Elsa Hamilton is expelled, and her scholarship she gets is the same scholarship like everybody else. There, there's no meritocracy here. It is sad. You see my hairstyle. I go down the road. If I step, step too late on the road, they will consider me a criminal. Why? Why? It, it is a sad state of affairs. I mean, I can tell you. I come from Boxster. I can't remember the last time I went into a, an organization and said, you know what, I'm from Boxster. As I've matured a bit more politically, I, I'm, I'm fearless of it. But with the stigma attached, I, I hate the fact that I'm from Boxton because you know what? Boxton is associated with crime and violence. Do I look like a murderer? No, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I'm like the most loving person that there is. But you know what? I just have this weird hairstyle. I come from Boxton, so automatically I'm categorized. When you were writing these words, what were you present to? What was your... What were, what were you present to as you wrote these words? I was processing... I, there was a movement as part of the move forward movement, all right. And I was looking at the guy that I want, the guy that I wish to see, the guy that following a coalition government. What that guy is? What's my picture of Guyana? And that's the guy that I want. And I'm, I'm looking at persons of just uh, of my age, of my age group, of my ethnicity, of my educational background, who have the same issues. Why do you believe this particular Guyana? Some might say it already exists. The one that you're at, you you're advocating that you want, and 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 why do you believe it doesn't exist, and and do you believe it is possible? Why does it doesn't? Why do you believe it doesn't exist? Yeah, the, because and I'm asking you this question because there are those who would say, what what is this, what is this guy talking about? We are experiencing the same Guyana that he wants, and I like that. By the way, Brian, I love that look of consternation. Go ahead. Show me the evidence. <laughs> One person who can tell me, okay, this guy like this, I can find without fear of being contradicted at least 10 persons who I know. And I'm not the most sociable person. I'm not the person, I'm, I'm, I'm a recluse. I don't go out much. And I can find 10 people for everyone they bring. And tell me, show me when they studied, show me their qualification, and show me that they have no association to no quote unquote big buy without knowing anybody. Is this following a life, sending an application like everybody else? Show me that person, and I'd be, I'd try and congratulate them. They'll show me, show me the young in Camp Street Jail who ended up there as a consequence of a system. Show me them. Do you believe that is Guyana you're seeking? Do Do you believe it is possible, Brian? Yes. For. Huh? What is possible? This Guyana that, that you're this this Guyana that you want. Do you believe it is oh, possible? Yeah. Because you know what? Brett is a part of the movement. Rakaya Boy is a part of the movement. The Lord is a part of the movement. Royal Jones is a part of the movement. There are young people out there I, I can continue to name. They might not come to my memory this point, who are a part of creating the new Guyana. Let's talk about Guyana that. Let, 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 created with a new government. Let's talk about this, this cadre of young people that you are part of. Tell me what is it about your group or about this group of young people that two things, give you pause and B, give you hope. Well, the first thing that gives me hope, the first that gives me hope is the fact that we were born after 1982. That's the first thing. And because we were born after 1992, and we were born in the age of information, and we, we, we've gone, some of us have gone to the same institutions of learning, and we all appreciate the same things. We all go on, online and see what happens in the other parts of the world. We are all informed. We have discussions. And mind you, all of us aren't from the same party. We're from different parties. But because we weren't born from, from, a, from a dinosaur era, we don't have some of the issues. Hey, Brian, watch it. 
that this gaelic will be fostered what gives me pause is that i would argue that we're not the majority we're in the minority and there is a majority out there to whom we wish we have to speak to and that majority of persons just like you know in the same age group do not understand or cannot understand the problem that we're in so we have to educate them and help them to move forward with us mm -hmm. which by itself is a herculean task but i'm very confident that if just for nation it must be done and, and rakaya your sentiments same question and rakaya your sentiments same question uh, the same question i i have a hope because you know what like i said i think it's more of a political problem uh, I think our generation is more inclusive of each other. We have a love for each other, even though some of us may have been influenced by our parents or our grandparents or whatnot. I think the, the, for the majority of us, at least the peers that I've met, and I mean, not just in Guyana, but the Caribbean region as well, because I'm, I've traveled to these places, but since the topic is Guyana, I think we are more inclusive, we're more understanding, we're more open to listening to each other and listening to the other person. And there's a lot of intermixing with us. This is the social media age as well, and a lot of the things that probably would have um, previous previous uh, governments would have gotten away with before because we don't have this access and we're not as in, involved in social media, they would have gotten away with it then. But now everyone's like, like two seconds away from each other and getting information so we're informed we're more proactive we're less fearless because like brian would have mentioned we're not we weren't born uh well i was born in 1990. so two years at age two i wasn't even aware of half of the political things that were going on but you know you still have this social consciousness because of the things around you you might not know necessarily facts but as you go you become part of the society so I don't want to hear that rhetoric. I want to see. I want to hear the, the issues. I want you to deal with issues as it comes as it relates to me. And what I've seen has not been anything that you know has impacted me in any way positively or the persons that I associate myself with positively. These are the people around me, uh, irrespective of what background they come from, they've influenced their environments by themselves. They've yep. influenced themselves just by the, that self-motivating power within themselves. So I think, you know, there is a hope because we have very strong-willed people in our in our generation. We have people that don't see people um, for bias, for the color of their skin. Yes, there might be some in the minority that still are influenced that way, but that's because of the old generation. But for the most part, there's a disparity. Between what is what is happening? What is happening among you? And I am, I am asking you this question from an ethnic perspective. Guyana is a land of six races, and, and I, I'm glad that this movement, this coalition movement is happening today because we should have done this many years ago. What is happening among you young people across, the, the, across who come together, various ethnic backgrounds, that those among us the older generation what, what are we missing what is it we don't know that is happening among you that we should know was it you uh, know talking? go ahead brian we grew together we grew up together like for me personally i grew up in a place yeah. where i didn't see color i didn't see um uh, people because they were dark you know what not you get a single no, Nicole keeps getting coming back onto the show. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Nicole left. Right. Okay. Um, where were we? Yeah, you were saying you grew up together, and go ahead. Yeah, I think I think I mean since we were discussing Guyana, like you said, I'm. I'm I've tra I'm somewhat traveled at this age. I've already been to about 25 countries. And one thing I, I think is sad is that um, in our country, we have a majority of East Indian and African um, as the, ra the, the race with the majority. And we have a problem among ourselves when the world is really just black and white. And we as a people are one, just one people. We really, when we look at the world objectively, there's just black 
and there's white. Everything else that isn't white is literally just black. And so it's like this division among black folks. Uh, anyways, moving forward, um, young folks of my age, people that I associate myself, how I grew up, I didn't see color. I didn't see someone because they were East Indian. I didn't see someone because they were Amerindian, Chinese. It didn't matter. All that mattered is that we got along. Uh, or we probably had likes. We probably had differences. That's what dictated how we uh, socialize with each other, whether we had likes or dislikes, we, we were into the arts, we were into technology. That's what dictated it, based on our, our, our interests. Um, so it wasn't until I came to the city, uh, I was in high school, then I started noticing somewhat of a, a, a little separation. And that separation from what I understood it at that point was as a result of uh, parents and their children, the, the influence parents had on their children. It never, I never got it from the perspective that it was one of my peers and their, their official and their initial, their own thoughts that had this perception. It always came back to something that their parents did, said or their grandparents said. And that's, that's why I always had the, the idea of generational change. But I think you know, the healing process can start with the... the let, me, let me bring Dylan into this. Dylan, you, you've been yeah. quiet. Um, can, you, can you take a, a stab at this question? What do you think? Did you hear the, Would you like me to repeat the question? Yeah. Um, definitely, I like it. I like that. What do you think is respond? What what is, what is happening among you young people across the ethnic you know uh, across the ethnic divide um, or the, across the ethnic groups? What is happening among you that we in the diaspora, the, the older generation, is not privy to, and we should know? What 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 is going on? I think. Um the removal of, of fear I I think that um, some people are, are the old folks are fearful of each other and um, the racial divides come from there um, I'm not afraid of any of my friends so I think that because we grew up together and we had this this love and unity and the fear was not there um, we become more tolerable of each other and I, I do believe that um, the younger folks are are more willing to, to work together to get work done, um, there's no um, separation of ideas. It's an inclusive um, way um, to look. And I think um, the fact that the younger generation has um, a chance to see the world from the outside and not just life in Guyana, they could get to see because of the internet what life is abroad and how people are accepting each other. I think that they'll play a, a big role in the way young Guyanese. What gives you hope about what gives you hope about Guyana? Um, what gives me hope is the fact that, that there is life. Once there is life, there is hope. Um, I do believe that um, we as, as people are very resilient and we could move forward if we bring our um, ideas together and we work together to, to get work um, to get everything done. Um, we could move forward. Mm -hmm. And, and, and for you, Mr. Smith, what do you say to a group of young people in Guyana who might, might be a little bit despondent and don't believe that their vote matters? Well, um, if, if, if I could just take a, take a, a touch at that, um, at, at what I said earlier, what the diaspora doesn't see. Um, I think many people take for granted the fact that, for example, last night I went to 704 to look at this um, weather fight, and I have my union brother with me. My Armenian brother is right there. We mix, we mingle. When I'm in the line to pay the light bill, I got the, I have an Indian brother there. I have an, I have an Armenian brother there. When we're at UG, and they, we got to pick up the furniture and fetch it, nobody looks to see what ethnicity it is. You know what we're looking at? Listen, we got to fetch this bench and reach in the classroom before the lecturer comes. I think that sort of mixing, mixing within the problem, is what is creating the, 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 this new appreciation for each other. Back in the day, there was, there, was a, there was a division, and everybody had insecurities and fears, some of which weren't, were, were based on myths, some of which were based on maybe one isolated incident. But now, I, I think young people are, are, are more gelling together, doing things together, going through the struggles together. And that is why, you know, that, that, that the process. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we have come to the end of your segment. <laughs> And so, what I want to ask you, Brian, while while you're on while you're on camera, is there a message you have 
for young people about this election? Well, I, I believe yes. Um, come May 11th, I think this is one of the this this is for me the second most important election after independence. This is the election which determines how we go as a nation, how we move forward. This is the election that gives us the opportunity to breathe again. This is the election that we have a choice to make to ourselves. Have to stay home and play rock back, Charlie and Lady Jane. No, this is the election where we all have to be a part of it. And we all not, not only have to vote, but we all also have to keep our leaders accountable. This is where we realize our voice and we exercise our voice. And come what may, whichever government, suppose no, not the day it doesn't win. The next election, those same persons who came out of vote need to come out again and exercise their franchise. Votes, votes are one of the elections. You have given the, the government the authority to govern for you for a specific period of time. If they haven't done it, one word. Bye. And you, Rakaya, any message? Yes, I would like to um, emphasize the importance of voting to the young people out there. Uh, it's your democratic right. You cannot complain after sitting at home and deciding that, you know what, there wasn't a party out there that I didn't want to vote for because it's too much back and forth. Really, you need to make a choice because at the end of the day, it is your life. Politics is a part of each and every one of our lives, and we need to play, have a more proactive role in it. I want to encourage them to vote for policies and not for the fear, not for what was, not for what is. Vote for the policies that affect you most. Vote for the things that you may have a life, a goal, a career, their manifestos out there. Take the time off to allot some time to reading and going through these manifestos because it's the life of your, your future, not just yourself, but you have to consider that at some point you're going to have a family. You might want to greet your family right here. And I mean, this is your home. This is our home. We need to take a more proactive role to ensuring that our home is a safe haven where that we're not just us, but our, likewise our brothers and sisters of different backgrounds and different uh, interests, that they can thrive. We should not be in a position where we have to run to another man's country because the best place to enjoy the benefits of anything is in your own home. So I just want to encourage young people out there to look beyond the, the indifferences and look for policies and look for what best uh, serves the policy of rebuilding and growth and healing for an entire nation collectively so and you you delon um, so, sorry okay and you delon what I message do you uh, have like for encourage, young people yeah i would just like to encourage um voter participation regardless of who you support um just come out to vote um elections on normal circumstances once every five years and if you could take just one day every five years to come out and exercise your right um that would be um very um rewarding for you at least you um took part in the process and you um to touch on what rakaya said um you need to also be a, an informed voter you take the time off read the manifestos so you know what you're voting for you're not casting wild votes you know what you're voting for but importantly is the aspect of voter participation that every youth the older folks that everyone that is eligible to vote come out and vote thank you rakaya brian and delon thank you all so very much for sharing your time with us it was very um enlightening and and, and informative so thanks so very much thank you yes. you're welcome thank brian you. in, in spite of all the troubles that you gave me brian thanks <laughs> Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. And one, one, for, one, for, one for bishops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Anywho, is that, yes, bye-bye. Uh, thanks. And good night. Rakaya. Yes, Salman. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. It was a grand reunion with these two amazing young men out there. Yeah. Um, I just heard their moments. Thanks. Keep the faith. Keep the, <laughs> and, and the three of you, please leave the meeting. All right. Yeah, you got to keep the law. I haven't seen this first. I've only seen this face. But anyways, you got, you got some more people coming up. Don't let's take it away. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.